So we're in Fresno, California, getting ready to set a toilet. First thing we did back here is we had an old uh, integrated shutoff valve and supply line. These guys are notorious for leaking, so you can see the gasket in there. You get replacement gaskets and you try and put Teflon tape on there, but ultimately what happens is you end up with a, with a leak down there and you got our service call. So it's, it's a needless expense. So what we do is while we're out here is we go ahead and replace it and upgrade it with a, a quarter turn shutoff valve. So this here is not the multi-turn like you have on that one where it's got the plastic packing that and the plastic stem and it drips out of there. This one has got a stainless steel ball inside. I can't turn it on right now because the water's back onto the home, but basically this little valve, this quarter, quarter turn to the left is on, quarter turn to the right is off. Then we give you a brand new supply as well. So this is a 3 8 by 7 8 by 20 inch uh, fluid master braided stainless steel connector. Uh, so, and those guys are pretty expensive. You know, these were the cheapest thing we used back in the late 80s, early 90s. Uh, so you got that on, that's good. Uh, down here, we did want to take one little video. It's nice that they have an ABS flange here. They started making these flanges adjustable so you can see this big slotted area. What they would do is they would take this, these two slotted areas here and here, and they would spin it to the sides. And what that allowed the plumber to do is slide a, slide a bolt on there and adjust it back and forth. The reason why they did this is plumbers can't measure very well. So off that back wall, if you set this and this and it's crooked, then your toilet's crooked. And so they started making these. I don't like them. The reason why is when they cut so much material out, it leaves this outer lip is very uh, fragile and it breaks. And so a lot of times what you have is when it's uh, mounted over here, you get these bolts in there and it gets over tight and then eventually they just snap and then you're in, in trouble. These guys are great because it goes in, you got a half inch full thickness flange there, solid ABS, which is better than the PVC, which is very brittle as, as it ages. But this guy right here, uh, it holds really well. So it's anchored in. I can see that they've got the brass screws in. It's concreted in. So that all looks good. My only uh, thing I need to point out before we get going here is you can see that it's been over tightened just a little bit. So right in this area here where you see where the bolt comes in on this side, not so bad. But it is, it does balloon up right here. And the reason why is it got over tightened. This one is pulled up even further. Now, keep in mind, ABS plastic, very flexible, very pliable, very uh, resistant to, to cracking. But this one, and it's hard to tell just from the camera angle, but this is pulled up substantially. Now, I highly doubt that you're at risk of anything being wrong with the flange. It'll bolt back down. What we like to do is snug it up, shim it, cock it back in, and then, you know, just be gentle with the toilet. These things are not meant to, you know, stand on, dance on, you know, uh, lounge around on. You know, they're, they're meant for, you know, using a restroom. But anyway, so I wanted to document that before we get done, and uh, then we'll go ahead and take another video when we're done. Get all the water out of it, that's for sure. Yeah. So, fresh better. we're still here in Clubs, California. We've got this toilet set. And this is a Kohler Wellworth Classic, round front bowl, straight out of Home Depot. And uh, we, we already went over some of the things with the flange when we pulled it. Uh, you know, we already told you we replaced the valve and the supply line, so that's good. So the toilet's in place, got it cocked back in. Um, so it's filling correctly, it's shutting off correctly, and it's flushing correctly. Chain's a little tight going from the, uh, the lever, uh, not the lever, but the the arm that goes over and connects right there. Uh, chain's a little tight. So if you ever have any trouble with that, the only thing you can do is come out, get another chain and try and extend a little bit to loosen it up. Because you can see there's no play in that whatsoever. And so you, you need a little bit of play. Otherwise, you know, it holds the canister up and the water keeps draining. So monitor that. If you have any trouble with that, we'll come back out and take care of it outside of that. This installation is done.